Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome on back. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, I need to stop. No, I need to stop. We don't need to do that. We just need to um, say, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome aboard. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're not freezing to death like these guys are. And actually, I'm a bit chilly myself at the moment. I might have to go and grab a jumper in a moment and rug up a little bit so that I'm not, you know, not all frosty and cold. So... Cold snaps kicking in. Um, we can close these vents and open these vents. And open these vents. And I'm gonna leave that one where it is. And in fact, I think I think we can probably do away with this corridor entirely shortly. It is um, it's not really doing us anything. So we'll just yeah, let that one go momentarily. Uh, all this stuff I don't care about anymore. We've dealt with all of those things. We have managed to buy a lovely amount of alpaca meat from a passing trader. We have some delightful berry pies, which everyone seemed to get really super happy about eating. So like if we look at needs here, everyone got a buff from like a, a super happiness buff from eating berry pies. So uh, yeah, that's a thing that I need to know about. So I think actually what we'll do is we'll just convert these ones here or we'll make these ones, uh, where are we? Strawberry plants. And then I think we can make berry pies. So what do we need? Berry, oh yeah, we've done, we've done it in the past. We need eggs, milk, and berries. Or corn, or rice, or smoke leaf milk. Okay, I reckon we can do this, guys. So let's um, let's unsuspend this berry pie, and we'll crank this up to the top here, right? Cool. Um, and the same with this one, berry pie, unsuspend. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, because at the moment people are a bit sad, and if we have the ability to make those berry pies, then. I would love to see these guys keep noshing on those and keep getting this nice buff. Especially when we do awful things like selling people's uh, pets. It's not the nicest thing to do, but look, hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And we had so many foxes, it was silly. It was just beyond crazy. Um, these... Uh, these animals that we have here, they're already starting to be trained. They're, I mean, Labradors are very intelligent dogs. Super duper intelligent dogs. So I'm going to let these guys um, get fully trained up so that they can follow Master and follow Master while drafted. Good. So these animals, we're going to prep those guys up to be our new fox replacements. Because the foxes... They're, they're a tiny little animal. They're not fun to play with. They don't, they don't make people happy. Um, whereas, I mean, Sam, how are you doing? Are you feeling anything about these new animals that you've... No, don't seem to be... Don't seem to be thrilled about that just yet. But having these guys floating about, I think, um, will be much more useful. They'll be able to haul for us. Um, they'll be able to rescue people when they're downed. There'll be a, an all-round, much more versatile uh, group of pals to have in the place. Uh, it looks like we're dealing with the cold snap relatively well. Uh, synthetic skin has been completed, which is great, although it's a bit late for um, Muse. We went ahead and, you know, put her... Um, we put her new arm on when in, we didn't actually need to. Um... Is there anything else in here that we should consider getting? Or should we just continue with our top of the town research? I feel like we do. Um, autopsy and Tesla turret. That sounds pretty rad. But considering the other turrets that we played with, you needed to buy stuff. Um, like you, you can't produce the things that you need um, to make them. Uh, yeah, that seemed, that was a little bit of a pain, honestly. I was hoping 
that um, that we'd be able to just make all of those turrets. But evidently, the mod that I have, yeah, it, it leaves a little bit of random chance there. Which, I mean, it's not too bad, all told. If you had the ability to just, you know, make whatever you, fo whatever you fancied, then, I don't know, sometimes I think you'd be... Oh, making another charge rifle, are we? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, that's right. I queued another one up, even though we don't really need it. But when it appears, I'll um, I'll put it in, um, I'll put it into what I guess probably Zia. Zia could probably handle that. I reckon that'd be nice. Um, I kind of feel like this whole thing just needs to be removed. That's all legacy stuff that we don't need anymore. Um, so I'll turn all those off. How are we doing with these? So this is an unfinished component. And we've made our um, advanced components, which is great. So next is these energized components for which we need... Oh. All right. Well, we're not going to be making any energized components anytime soon, which is a bit of a pain. Um, unless someone can like deliver one for us, it is highly unlikely that we're going to be making energized components anytime soon because we have eight pieces of uranium left and I need five energized components to make a pain stopper so that we can get Muse out of her funk because these sensory mechanites, I'm assuming they'll go away eventually like the other mechanites and stuff that we've seen. It's just, you know, it takes months for it to happen. Oh, there's that charge rifle. Beauty, Sammy, love your work. Bring it on down. Um, okay, so it's disappointing, but we are basically at the point now where we kind of need to write Muse off. I mean, if I felt really brutal about this and really desperately needed to move, I would potentially euthanize her. But I kind of don't want to bring myself to do that. I mean, it just... I don't understand. 20%, right? And when you look at her character... Pain shock threshold 65. But it says even a little pain. So just by being in this amount of mild pain... Is putting her out. And down for the count. Which is a super disappointment. But... What do you do? Oh, hello. Alright. The winter is kicking in. It is uh, time for us to batten down the hatches. Um, I mean, it is, it's a cold snap at the moment. Hard snow. It's still only fall, actually. So it's not too bad. So we've got some berries coming along here. We've got a big batch of rice coming along. I think we could probably stand to do this and change these ones out. Shit. We'll come back to that. All right, where are these guys? Arriving in drop pods, jump to location. So they're going to arrive down here, and then they're going to come up this way. So I tell you what, um, let's get everyone. Oops, let's get stop it. Let's get everyone recruited up and inside. First of all, it's freaking cold. These drop pods are going to drop right there. Oh my god! Whoa! Shit. Okay. Uh, all right. Quick, everyone out here, and. Let's say... Zia. Man this. Because these guys will mess with us. Okay. Phoebe, down here, mate. Blur, can you hop over here as well? And Tico, get inside. And Ghost, get inside. I haven't checked to see what these guys are wearing, which is a bit of a problem. But... This should help us out. Okay, here we go. Got some shots going into them. Sammy, step up, buddy. Sam's firing. That's good. Okay, we've knocked one of them down. They just seem to be focusing on that... Um solar panel, which seems like a bit of a dick move. 
I mean, I'm doing poorly enough for, um... Okay, hang on. Here we go. Okay, these guys are going to start. Uh, we're okay. Okay, we're alright. I was... I just wanted to double check to see if anyone was too cold. Um, but they seem to be okay at the moment. I tell you what. Non-essential personnel go inside. Um, Lolita, you can stay there for the time being. You guys... Can probably go inside, but, you know, hold fast. If we need you, we'll give you a yell. So, we're just going to keep firing at these guys... Essentially just with a sniper rifle at the moment. Okay. So let's get these guys inside as well. Sam can continue. How are we doing? Death in 22 hours. Got shot in the torso. Z is unable to reach them. But they're all down. Okay, great. Guys, well done. Um, everyone else? No. I'll just select them like this. Okay, there we go. Everyone else, well done. Off you go. Do what you got to do. Be what you got to be. Yeah. Felicia is uh, getting some smooching from uh, Nutty, the male Labrador. Excellent to see. We've got ourselves a free component, which is, um, you know, cool. <laughs> Not really a free component, though, is it? <clears throat> uh, but we can replace that and hopefully um, get that sorted out. Lullaby is having a bit of a wander out here. Um, training is going well. Wowzers. Holy dooly. Look at how quickly these guys are coming up the ranks. This is amazing. I'm... I'm pretty blown away. Like, these guys are, are... To the point where they can rescue people already. That's awesome. Um... Yeah, pretty thrilled by, thrilled by that. Uh... I kind of feel like, Lolita, you shouldn't be outside... Right now, because it's freaking cold and you only have a duster on. Uh... I think that that's probably a... Potentially bad thing for you to be doing. But you don't seem to give too much of a shit, so... Whatevs, bro. You do you. Now, what's next? Next, I think we need to keep focusing on our cooking. Um, package survival meals... Like I said, originally they were going to be used as a... Let's move on to a new location. But it's kind of turned into a... This is a nice thing to just have. Floating about. And I'm happy to just have those survival meals just there. I think these tubs up here will change this out to hay gratin. Hmm. I wonder. We do need to make some more hay grass. I tell you what. Yeah. All right. Um, let's do um, orders. Deacons. No. I was going to say, we'll deconstruct this wall and put in another bank of um, hydroponics basins, but I really can't... I can't afford that much stuff, right? I need to keep... Okay, let's do these five here. Yeah, we'll change these to hay grass. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but... Oh, I can't. At the moment, I guess we'll have to just make kibble for our... Um, our big furry friends. Now, I think this one was set to store kibble, wasn't it? Food, kibble. Let's, uh, okay, so let's change this one out to kibble. This can be still for hay. This one for not kibble. And then uh, this one can be not kibble, right? So what we're going to do is we will intend to store all of our kibble here. We'll let the, that means the dogs have to get into it though, doesn't it? That's okay. We can put the dogs out there as well. Um, I mean, I don't... I kind of don't want to restrict the dogs, I suppose. Now that we've got a sensible amount of dogs... Um, where is their restriction? Their restriction is everywhere except for that section up there. Okay. So let's... Let's check this out. Uh, expand woofer zone to include that little bit there. So that they can get in... We'll give them a, we'll give them a nice little piece there. They can get in, eat that stuff, good to go. Let's check out the Muffalo Zone. That should now include uh, this block. Thank you, autosave. That was perfect timing. Uh, this block here can be um, greenlit for our furry friends to, um, to go and explore. Um, 
And yeah, that should do the trick. They should be able to get in here, eat a bit more grass, and do what they need to do. So once we start to produce kibble... So what have we got kibble set to use at the moment? Uh, details. Let's see. Raw food. Yeah. Meat, vegetarian, eggs, insect jelly, milk. Okay. Okay. Kind of feel that it's unfair that we would feed milk to the muffalos. Um, why would that be unfair? I mean, they feed it to their children, right? So, I guess, or their calves. So, I suppose there's not really anything weird about that. It's not like I sort of immediately went, hmm, it's a bit like cannibalism-y. But, yeah, no, not really. Okay, so, once we start to get that kibble underway, then I think we should be sort of, you know, sitting pretty. We should be doing well. So what we need to do is keep these veggies rolling in. Keep this rice rolling in. The heel root up here... Is that too much heel root? I feel like maybe it is. I feel like... I feel like I need to do, like, a few additional things. So we need, like... I reckon some smoke leaf would probably be a fairly good idea, right? So let's get two of these converted over to smoke leaf. Three of them can just be continuing to produce heel root. And then the top block here will change these over to food as well. Uh, and we'll go with potato. We'll have some, you know, a little bit of variation for the guys. So they're not eating the same thing the whole time. But yeah, I think it'd be nice to get some, get some splips up and running again. And maybe if we shove one into Muse's face, she'll become you know, partially useful for the term, for the time that she's, you know, while she's high, she might become, you know, not too bad. But yeah, this is damn near impossible. I, for us to get that much uranium, I honestly don't know if we're going to be able to do that, which is really problematic. So I guess we can push towards that, but... If the worst comes to the worst, we're just going to have to wait for these sensory mechanites to go away on their own. Which is... Uh oh A boom rat. Oh. Oh, get it. <laughs> oh, Anti-material turret. I love you. You are delightful. You make this game very fun. I think we should have another one. Down here somewhere, perhaps. Um, but I cancelled it out last time because it was jolly expensive and we weren't making a super amount of progress on it. So I went, meh, let's... Uh, yeah, leave that for the time being. Okay. So... For the time being, I think we're doing pretty well. Veggies are starting to dip a little bit, but we've got a good amount of meat. All right, we're okay there. Um, our chickens are starting to lay eggs rather nicely. So what I think... Actually, I'll tell you what we can do. Um, is this section here, storage, priority, normal. Let's also check... Um, where are we? Uh, meal, no, meals. Um, oh. Cool. What else is required? Crypto sleep caskets. Sweet. Let's change this up so that um, uh, eggs go in here. So where is it? Raw resources. No. Um, items. Resurrector mech serum. Oh my god. Um, elephant tusk. Yeah, cool. Where is it? Am I... God damn it. I always do this, don't I? I'm like, oh wait, it's not, it's not going to be in there. Is it a food? Raw food, yes. Animal products, yes. Eggs, unfertilized and fertilized, can now be stored in here. So when the chooks lay them up, and we'll check this one, priority low. Okay, great. So when the chooks lay up some eggs now, um, they're going to be immediately gathered up like Rex has just done, and they're going to be brought down here for our friendly neighborhood uh, chefs to prepare into delightful, delicious meals. That's going to be good. What else we got going on? Not a huge amount. Okay, let's... 
flip this back off. Ignore that go frenzy. Animal starvation is starting to become a problem again. Um, so we kind of need people to be butchering creatures. Uh, sorry, to, to make kibble. Let's double check and see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So hopefully someone's going to start producing some bloody... Okay, hang on. Let's turn this back on. Uh, let's turn this to two, turn this to one, to two, to one, to two. Um, what does butchering actually require? Is that, that should be cooking, right? I imagine it would be. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Next episode, we need to try and figure out why we're not making any, um, um, kibble for our animals, because if we don't start taking care of them, they're all going to start dying. I mean, at the moment, this little guy and this guy here, they've, they've crashed outside and they're not doing well. So we need to look after our animals. Maybe we need to bring them in. That might be a thing. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you tune in to see me again next time or to hang out with me again. Yeah, hang out with me again next time. Let's go with that. Um, I hope you're having a good day and I'll see you then. Bye.